Hey guys, HW here. I'm not in the city today, so apologies for that straight off the bat. I'm in North Sydney. I thought I'd do a little walk around North Sydney today and then head into the city uh, next week and do the Christmas vid next week. But uh, where I am in North Sydney right now is I'm standing outside North Sydney Oval, home of the famous North Sydney Bears rugby league side. One of the founding members of the New South Wales League, 1908. But unfortunately, I kicked out of the comp, which is now known as the NRL, back in 1999, along with my club, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. But luckily for me, as we stare over at the cricket pitch, because it's time for the summer sports, right? Of where the North Sydney Bears used to run around. Uh, my team made it back into the comp. With a lot of work. But the poor old North Sydney Bears are still relegated. They're still in the New South Wales competition which is below the NRL when I was walking up to the grandstand here at North Sydney Oval I spied this old ticket booth have a go at it look how old it is imagine coming up to here in the in the old days to get your tickets through the old ticket window even the gates of North Sydney Oval just here are quite old as well I've been through these gates a few times for rugby league matches including South Sydney Rabbitohs my team versus the North Sydney Bears they are great times the North Sydney Bears still trying to get back into the competition They've had a number of bids that they've put forward to the NRL. One stage they were going to be the Central Coast Bears and be located up at the Central Coast. And then another time they were going to be the uh, West Australian Bears. They're going to be located over in Perth. And I think the latest bid, as we have a quick peek at these Agapanthers that have sprouted up in the park here, outside North Sydney Oval. I don't mind the old Agapanthers. They're great fill-ins. <laughs> As this video is a fill-in before we do the Christmas vid next week. Have I done the uh, weather forecast yet? Or the weather observations? So today it's uh, forecast for 25 degrees in Sydney. As we make our way onto Ridge Street North Sydney here. I was going to go down the end of Ridge Street I know there's a bit of construction down the end of the street for the Warringah Freeway, but I'm hoping we'll still get a squeeze of the city from there. I don't think I've filmed from that viewpoint before, so let's do it today. So yeah, back to the weather, uh, 25 degrees, it's already over that, I think it's about 25 and a half degrees. So, um, so what, about 78 Fahrenheit, 77, 78 Fahrenheit, somewhere around there. Oh, this, this terrace house always fascinates me when I walk past it in Ridge Street. On the corner of Ridge Street and Elliott Street. Have a look how they've allowed the, the uh, ivy to grow all over it. Now, if you know ivy, it uh, grows into cr various crevices in the building and starts to pull it apart. So I don't know how they've avoided that. Or, look, even the chimney up there, the ivy's growing around. It's part of North Sydney in the background over there. You can see the McAvee logo on one of the buildings. Yeah, have a look. This terrace has allowed the ivy to grow all over it. 
even on the front fence here this is one of those terraces over several levels they've got the basement level as well wonder if they rent that out separate or whether they just maintain the whole building themselves I avoided walking that part of the park there because there's a bunch of school kids playing trying to interrupt them looks like they're playing Kanga cricket which is a junior f form of cricket usually with uh, plastic stumps and bales and usually with a, a rubber ball or a tennis ball look at these old Victorian terraces here along Ridge Street a lot of them are little offices rather than private residences This is where Walker Street meets Ridge Street up the top of the hill. There's a, it's like a PT class going on over there in the park. And there's the uh, North Sydney Greens over there, Bowling Greens. We might go over there once we get down to the corner down here. I was reading in Wikipedia, I don't think I've ever bothered doing it before, about North Sydney. Um, North Sydney is pretty much an extension of the centre of the city over the bridge. Um, but it, was, um, it wasn't until the early 70s that all the skyscrapers started sprouting up. And over a really short period of time, I read there was like 27 skyscrapers that went up. little poodle dropping its package on the lawn oh, it looks like the pedestrian bridge is still uh, open so we may be able to get a view of the city I was worried when I drove past on the weekend that it would be completely closed But yeah, this little park down here, they call this the, um, even though it's got a bit of construction on it now, they usually call it the Ridge Street Viewpoint. And there's the uh, Harbour Bridge over there in the city. And the harbour itself down there. So let's get onto that pedestrian bridge and see if we can catch some images over there. going to be pretty noisy with all the traffic coming backwards and forwards but see that all these set up all of these scientific instruments here I don't know what they do I don't know whether they're lasers and they're counting how much how many cars come past or whether they're I don't know what they do I wonder if I'm permitted to stand up here or whether they'll crack it I'm going to stand up here anyway. So you can see all the construction going on on the Warringah Freeway. They're putting in new uh, bus lanes, dedicated bus lanes. There's one down there that you can see there. And there's one going on the other side over there, down there. 
Okay, yeah, let's see a bit of the North Sydney skyscape there anyway. And then the city in the background over the bridge. Might as well end, uh, walk to the end of the uh, walkway here or the pedestrian bridge and see a bit of the construction that's going on on the other side. They're also putting in a, a bike ramp down at the Harbour Bridge. So no longer will you have to alight your bike at those terrible stairs and push your bike up the ramp. Be able to ride straight onto it. Right, here we go, here's a bit of the construction going on for the dedicated bus lane. It's going to make it a lot more pleasant for the people coming in on bus from the Northern Beaches. There's one of the Northern Beaches buses going there now. Big yellow double decker. They also have those double deckers come from coming from the northwest, so be either of those two locations. Right, it's the end of the pedestrian bridge. <coughs> I'll rejoin you over at the Greens. Alright, rejoining you in the basketball courts on Ridge Street. There's that PT class doing their planks at the moment. Might go around the outside here. But look at that, they got their uh, they got a collection of bowls set up on the greens now. So this greens, it's an old bowling club that's been taken over by a consortium of uh, companies that, that own a number of um, hotels and clubs around Sydney. Uh, this one they've developed into a bit of a, a social scene so you can come here and do barefoot bowls on the greens here and then have uh, drinks and lunch in the clubhouse. Same people that um, run the Greenwood Hotel down at North Sydney I think. And they've got another old bowling club over in Beecroft. Same mob. But um, you could imagine coming here with a group and playing uh, lawn bowls and sitting under these delightful paper bark trees and having yourself a, a wine or a champers or a beer. We come here tomorrow or Friday and there'll be a lot more people here. So they got one, two, they got three greens set up with social bowls. They even got a marquee set up over there. Someone must be having their Christmas do there at some stage over the next month. the vein up there churning around with the wind I didn't see where the wind was coming from did I let me have a look The wind's coming from the south at 30 kilometres an hour. 
Oh, look, there's people in there now, camped around the various stools, and there's people preparing food and drinks. Let's get on this mound over here and see if we can get another view. Another view over the freeway over to where those ships are docked there, the naval ships, if you can see them on the film. Just past Fort Denison. That's Woolloomooloo. That's the naval yard there. You can see Bondi Junction in the background. You may not be able to see it on the film, but it's a fair way off in the distance. Yeah, it's quite a nice day breeze blowing 25 degrees celsius 77 78 fahrenheit beautiful strolling along in the park at north sydney let's get down and have a look at this uh, reserve cricket oval down here now obviously the main cricket ovals inside north sydney um, oval but this is the this is the second one they do play some state games in uh, the North Sydney Oval looks like the uh, groundsman's got the roller out there now going to uh, flatten out the grass a bit more it's a side screen a cricket oval let's let's sky it about the Australian cricket team's win the other night as well against India Australia are the world champions in one day international cricket now we've had that title many times before but what was significant about it is we beat India in India and they had their stadium absolutely chock full I think over 120,000 people dressed in the Indian blue and we were able to overcome a defeat to them earlier in the tournament and also South Africa as well to come up with the chocolates at the end so congratulations to the Aussies for dominating the one day international over in India I'm doing a little run around the oval. It must be punishment for not holding the plank long enough or something. Back before the disruption, I'd come into work and most days I'd have a run around the park up here. That would be my uh, jog for the day. I'd run along the path here past the cricket oval and I'd do a, a circuit around the whole park several times try to etch out a, at least a seven, a seven kilometre run at lunchtime heading down to Falcon Street now this is Falcon Street up here Falcon Street massive arter arterial road that takes you between the northern beaches the city to Crow's Nest and St. Leonard's that was another thing that I read in Wikipedia that I didn't know before was 
at one stage a lot of North Sydney was was known as St Leonard's which is the next suburb along that way and even the North Sydney um, post office which is so famous um, erected in the 1800s was known as St Leonard's post office so I didn't know that either but it's certainly North Sydney post office now I wanted to have a look across the road at the police boys club over here went in there a few times back in the day as well for those of you overseas police boys club it's basically a a local police youth uh, gymnasium um, but others can join as well you don't have to be youthful <laughs> to, to join the police boys club but um, there was a gymnasium in there that I used to use uh, they got boxing um, boxing uh, gear out the back as well um, boxing ring and mats and pads and all the rest of it to use as well but um, I can't immediately tell whether it's um, the gym's still open or not can't really see through the windows the gym used to be just there those doors, those glass doors there used to be part of the gymnasium. I can't see because of the reflection. It looks like there's gym equipment in there. We'll follow this path down Falcon Street. And then we'll make our way back to the back side of North Sydney Oval and go back to North Sydney that way. Might even stop for a, uh, a nectar at uh, the Library Cafe, which is on Miller Street. Oh, look at this, look at this old gum tree that they've uh, whacked some birdhouses on. Just randomly this sheepdog's turned up to say hello to me. He's looking for his looking for his ball, I think, the ball that his owner's chucked. But here's these bird boxes on top of the old gum tree here. There's probably one there for the possums as well. And then out of the corner of my eye I spotted this cannon over here. Or this piece of artillery. Let's go and have a look at that. Here it is. What would you call it? A howitzer? Is it an old howitzer? Wonder if there's a plaque on here. Oh yeah, here we go. Seventy-seven millimeter field gun. What is it? Captured by the. 4th Battalion of the Australian Imperial Forces in France on the 23rd of August 1918 there you go so obviously uh, ripped that off the Germans back in Let's walk this way. The camera crapped out before it overheated. So see. Ah, we're in a bit of shade here. Hopefully the camera lasts a bit longer. There's the old bandstand over there. I would have seen some concerts in the day. These lovely big pine trees here. Massive. These guys having a social game of mini soccer in the park at lunchtime. Oh, 
all the multicultural nationalities of Australia represented on the field. Got one of the local schools training over here as well. They're having a game of touch footy. No, we're going back into the sun again. Camera's going to pop itself. But here, here's the backside of North Sydney Oval. There's a, a kids crash there. Did I say that right? Kids crash, I think I meant to say. Try not to film that. Yeah, built into the grandstand around the whole field or oval. There's all different businesses, there's gymnasiums, there's fitness um, equipment suppliers, or there used to be anyway. Here's the back side of the cricket oval here, and there's a tower up there for the umpires and scorers and broadcasters when there's official games there. This one's just called The Grandstand. It's a The Grandstand. No public access. It says. I was going to sneak in there, but there's two guys sitting there. There you go, the local short form cricket for the ladies is going to be playing here at North Sydney Oval, it says, that banner. The Sydney Sixers. That's like a shortened version of the one day games. Hey look, this is a home brewing business here. Doing micro brewing. Yeah, and the gym company's still here, still selling the gymnasium equipment by the way there's um, Maris College North Shore there across the road there's the gym equipment in there also on the back of the grandstand there's a dentist A physiotherapist. And there's a chiropractor. Anyone got a view on chiropractors? Do you go to a chiropractor? Do you rate them? Yeah, before I was really interrupted by the camera there, I was talking about the difference between physiotherapists and chiropractors. Um, I must, you know, tell the truth, I rate the physiotherapists over the chiropractors. I reckon the physiotherapists give you a lasting solution, whereas the chiropractors are a bit of, you know, a bit, bit how you're going, a bit of crack here and a massage here, and then you've got to go and see them again. So I'm sorry if that offends any of you chiropractors out there, but what do you guys reckon? So yeah, as we look back at Grandstand and North Sydney Oval, or one of the grandstands, let's end the uh, this part of the vid here, and then uh, join you over for the uh, obligatory uh, coffee nectar. Oh, I don't have much battery left, but I made it to the library cafe, here we are, I'm right next to the machine here, waiting for the delicious nectar to arrive. So let me conserve the uh, battery and wait for the nectar to arrive. Oh, the flat white has arrived, look at that cheeky little biscotti there. Oh, it's a bonus, didn't have to pay extra for that.
Look at the press ceilings up here at the library cafe. It's a courtyard out the back by the way. But that'll do the vid for today. Thanks for coming on the scooter around North Sydney. I promise you I'll get back into the city next week. See you in the next vid. The video is over.